Hello, my guitar hoarding friends. Today I have the Jackson X Series DK1 Skull Chaos. That's chaos with a K, kind of like Mortal Kombat. Uh, it's a uh, $5.99 US. We'll talk about the price a little bit as we go along. Uh, it's made in Indonesia. Um, I bought it for the finish. Kind of, I don't even know what it sounded like. I just was like, man, that finish is cool. Um, I also bought it because I've never had a single pickup uh, Super Strat before. And I was kind of like, man, I've always wanted one of those. You know, a lot of my 80s heroes played one. Um, this is the kind of finish you love it or hate it. I absolutely love it. Um, here you have kind of like the large skull here. Um, and there's like a Grim Reaper here. Um, the Sanskrit symbol for Ohm. Um, there's like a Statue of Liberty standing in front of like the moon here. There's a crazy guy with the bottle here. And there's like a uh, ogre soldier smoking a butt. And uh, also kind of cool over here is a smoking finger gun. And a uh, another kind of uh, looks like the Grim Reaper on the headstock over here. So very cool finish. Really digging it. Um, I'm going to jump right ahead and do an upgrade on this because I do have some upgrade parts for it. And we're going to talk about does this really need an upgrade or am I going overboard? So we're going to talk a lot of things about the Jackson Skull Chaos. So let's take a deep dive. Here's a closer look. Uh, this is a gloss finish on a Nayato wood body. I guess Nayato is similar to mahogany. And we have a laurel fretboard, kind of similar to what Epiphone is using these days. And it has a compound radius fretboard where it goes from 12 inches to 16 inches, nut to heel. And the Indonesian Jacksons weirdly only have one screw in the truss rod cover instead of three. Here's the singular humbucker, the Jackson High Output Pickup. We'll talk a little bit about that. Here is the singular volume knob that controls it. Note, there is no tone knob. And here's the Jackson branded Floyd Rose Special. The Special is the budget version of the Floyd Rose. Very common for a guitar at this price point. Haven't taken the plastic off the backside yet. This guitar has a graphite reinforced neck where the graphite flanks both sides of the uh, truss rod. So apparently you don't have to use the truss rod as much. And the ISJ in the serial number means that this was made in the Samic factory in Indonesia. All right, I've been playing the uh, Skull Chaos out of the box for a few days now. Straight out of the box. I haven't even changed the strings on this. Um, and it plays pretty well. Of course, I had to do a setup. Anything with a Floyd Rose, even out of the box, you're going to have to set it up. I set it up in E flat standard to kind of give it that Van Halen, Doc and Rat, you know, 80s Sunset Strip tuning. Um, and it holds it pretty well. The fretwork is very good. Um, I have the action very low and it's not fretting out anywhere on the bends or anything like that. The edge of the fretwork is very, very nice. Uh, it's sloped very nicely here, so I don't see any issues happening like in the winter with fret sprout or anything like that. The neck is very thin. Kind of reminds me of the Ibanez Wizard neck that I had on my old Ibanez Saber. Um, kind of has that same flat and thin feel to it. Maybe slightly thicker than the Wizard, but not by much. The singular pickup is, uh, I would say, pretty good. Uh, for this price range, for a stock pickup in this price range. I'm going through my Blackstar HT Stage 60 here behind me with the EQ totally dialed at uh, 12 o'clock, totally flat, and uh, about 75% gain right now. <laughs> Has some of that um, Pantera mid scoop chug going on. I would say the chords slightly on the muddy side, but still usable. There's some nice bite on the solo end. So pretty decent pickups. I would say it's a little bit better than the uh, Ibanez Quantum that you would find on the Indonesian Ibanez around the similar price range. So Jackson High Output pickup, pretty good for a guitar like this. The Floyd Rose Special. <laughs> its tune 
pretty well, I would say. It has some flutter to it. You know, the Floyd Rose Special, it's really, um, you know, it's kind of a crapshoot. You can get one that works just fine, or you can have one that fights back against you. But it's really about longevity with these things. Um, you know, over time, the screws start stripping. It starts stripping right at the post, and if you start really abusing it, maybe the Floyd Rose Special is not going to hold over time. The Jackson Tuners... Uh, not my favorite. Um, I've had other Jacksons before, and the Jackson branded tuners, um, I always find them kind of very stiff, um, especially on the E string. It's like uh, really cranking it to try to get it to tune up. So we're going to do a upgrade time on this and see if uh, things improve on it. So here are my three main upgrade components, starting with the Goto SG381 Perloid 6 inline mini tuners in black. I have it in black and perloid just to kind of go with the black and white theme. We want to make sure that these are left-handed, of course, because we have a reverse headstock guitar, so we want them facing the right way. Here we have the DiMarzio Super Distortion pickup, the DP100. I have it in white, and again, going with the white and black theme, I have it with the black hex poles. And then we want them F-spaced because the uh, string spacing is going to be slightly wider because of the tremolo and we want them lining up with the poles. And here we have the Goto GE 1996T black tremolo. Uh, this has a 33 millimeter brass block, slightly larger than the 32 in the stock one, but it'll fit just fine. So let's do it. The Goto trem is literally a drop-in replacement. You don't even have to change out the studs, just leave them in there and it'll drop right in here just like this. Sometimes there may be some clearance issues even if it's a drop-in replacement, but this rocks back and forth perfectly. 33 millimeter block fits in nicely and you can still put the cover on and it won't bang against it. I always take a picture of the wiring just before I go to town just so I have some reference. But in this case, the wiring is pretty basic. Um, I, normally I would change out this cheap pot and the cheap jack, but for this video I'm just gonna keep it. So the stock Jackson pickup has a DC resistance reading of 15K, while the DiMaggio Super Distortion reads 14.3, so really about the same. So here I have the Super Distortion wired up. Wired it just like this diagram where I took the green and the bare wire and soldered it to the back of the pot. Then the red hot lead wire to the left lug of the pot. And since I'm not using the split feature of the pickup, I soldered the black and white wires and secured them out of the way. So here's the Goto Tram and DiMarzio Super Distortion combo. Very nice, handsome black and white theme. I also found this matching Dunlop strap. Oil the fretboard, polish the frets. And here we have the gorgeous new Goto tuners. Man, I really love these things. It's a total drop-in. You don't need to route new holes or anything like that. No drilling involved. You just uh, stick it through the back and you can use the same uh, holes in the back for the screws. The Super Distortion pickup. <laughs> honest um, when I first uh, played it after I changed the pickups I was like I don't know if I like this but I kind of realized that um, the super distortion actually has a little more articulation and a little more dynamic so you, it starts to influence your playing a little bit more right so you're uh, starting to find the little nuances in the pickup while you're playing so it's different from the Jackson high output pickup where it's just all high output and like everything you play is just high output, right? So there's a little more dynamics with the Super Distortion, which I like. So overall, I'd say this is a nice little package that uh, Jackson has put out. You know, nice little shredder. It's a good modding platform, right? If you're into uh, modding things. I heard somebody say that this would be a cool guitar to test pickups on, which is actually pretty true. It's easy to swap them out and do an A-B test. So this is a nice little guitar for that. All right, folks, thanks for hanging out with me and checking out my new guitar. And uh, hopefully we'll hang out again soon. And keep rocking, my friends. <laughs>